I was down here for my job, so I just went to this pawn shop. Paid 30 bucks. I believe the bleach is over 15 bucks. Mario and Luigi, and probably the best game is Pokemon. 30 bucks is not the greatest price in the world, but it's also not bad. So for 30 bucks. At the pawn shop, you pay 30 bucks for everything, which is just okay. Um, the Last of Us Part 2, I can trade in or sell. The Witcher, I don't think I have the complete edition. I can't remember. Maybe if I do, I'll get rid of it. Um, Sonic Team Racing, I didn't have. And Five Nights at Freddy, I didn't have. So for 30 bucks, it's not the greatest deal, but it's also not the worst. Later. So GameStop has this really good deal right now, I think. I paid 70 bucks altogether for Among Us, the Ejected Edition. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not that expensive, but that was, I believe, maybe 20, maybe 15 bucks. And then Street Fighter V, the Collector's Edition, it was originally 250. And right now I think it's selling like for 54 bucks. So altogether, it's 70 something dollars and really a good deal for the price. And a good deal that if you have it in your area, you should really take advantage of because this for 50 bucks can be that. Later. So basically I was going to a GameStop just to take advantage of all the games that were on sale, the collector's editions that were 75% off. This guy was trading some stuff in and GameStop wouldn't take it because it's new. And the guy said, can I, you know, can I break the wrapper? and sell it to you then and i said no i just saw it so i cannot i cannot do that for you and they were going to give him 120 bucks um so he wasn't able to do the transaction and i caught him outside and i said do you want to sell them to me i'll give you 150 he said give me 175 and i said yes so for 175 i picked up all these games they're all sealed so um here we go um link's awakening origami king Yoshi, sorry, Mario Tennis Aces, Luigi Mansion 3, again, all sealed, Xenoblade, Breath of the Wild, Art World, Pokemon Snap, and the game that's gonna get me at least 100 bucks is Super Mario 3D All Stars, but I probably keep it just because it's sealed and my other copy, the baby grabbed it and she opened it. But all together, 175, I think it's a really great deal for a whole bunch of sealed Switch games. Later. Busy day today, I paid 50 bucks for these. I really didn't want to. And at the end of the day, I didn't know if I want to get the whole thing to begin with. But um, this four simple games or common games a ps1 and tamba for the ps1 and all together 50 bucks this game i didn't have and i have part two already so i get to have both of them so that's the only reason why i did it not the greatest deal but it's still like a 120 dollar game 100 dollar game so at the end of the day you can't complain this was on my local pawn shop i only paid two bucks a piece resident evil 6 Arkham City, um, Game of the Year edition for Arkham Asylum, Doom 3, and the game that I basically went in just for that, but ended up buying all the other stuff, is Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. This goes for about 20 bucks, and it has a bonus DVD, and I like anything It's a little weird and unusual, and the packaging here is a little different, so I decided to buy it for 10 bucks altogether. So at the sale up here, I paid 10 bucks for everything. This, she says is brand new. Basically what happened, she says that she found it at the bottom of a box. And from what I can see, it looks brand new. The only problem obviously is that she opened it. But if I look inside, everything is sealed and it's all there. But she says she did open it. But basically 
It's brand new, never used. She said she forgot to give it to her kids one year. So the game is there, everything sealed in there, but obviously it's open box. But very happy to pick this up for 10 bucks. It's an awesome, awesome deal. Later. At the sale up there, paid 25 bucks for everybody switch, them fighting herds and wild guns. I'm assuming this is going to the child and the rest I didn't have, so for 25 bucks. This was a Facebook deal. I ended up paying 30 bucks for this box only with foam. It's an upgrade from the one I have. Mine is really, I wouldn't say really beat up, but it's not in good a shape as this one. So I will be upgrading this one, getting rid of the other one, or maybe just keeping it, I'm not sure. But for 30 bucks, it's actually a decent deal. This box is, could go for a good amount of money. And for 30 bucks, can't complain. Later. This deal came from the same guy that I bought the Switch games outside of GameStop. He called me back. He still hasn't gotten the other stuff, the 3DS stuff, so I decided to pay up a little bit just to keep him in the hook and hopefully he will send me the stuff. I paid 70 bucks altogether. Um, Injustice, Left 4 Dead 2, um, this Fortnite, probably like a $25, $30 game. Um, it's sealed, Starlink is sealed, Death by Daylight, Pikmin 3, the wife I'm sure is going to keep, it's supposed to be sealed, but as you can see, the seal is horrible, so and Pokemon Rescue Team DX. And all together was 70 bucks, a little high, but again, I wanna keep that contact going, so it's worth the money. Later. So this was again from the guy that I bought the Switch games. Um, he took, a, took me to his storage unit. He said he has PlayStation N64 stuff, so I decided, you know what, I'm gonna keep, you know, giving him what he wants. He wanted a hundred for this, so I gave him a hundred bucks. The 3DS, however, it has some type of burn mark right here. The system does work and everything seems to be okay with it, but it does have that, so I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to get for that with those things, but the games were um, just a whole bunch of Zelda's, Mario's, nothing really great. Um, I don't see any game that's more than 20 bucks, but for 100 bucks, it's not a bad deal. Keep them, you know, keep them coming and hopefully he'll send me now. He says he has a lot of N64 stuff too. So hopefully he can call me back and we can hook up and get some more stuff. Some more better, decent stuff that I want. I kind of like the older stuff instead of the newer. And I consider this newer even though it really isn't. But like I said, for a hundred bucks, can't complain. Later. So this was a correct list deal. I paid 150 for everything. There's a Super Nintendo, an NES, a whole bunch of manuals. There's that controller and the fighting stick. I'm um, a sapper. There's a couple of controllers, and these are the games that came with it. Funny enough, the ad was up for like seven hours before I saw it, and then I was able to contact the person, and he still had it. So for 150 bucks, like I said, NES, Super Nintendo, Karate Champ, Turtles, Blaze of Steel, Turtles 2, um, Athletic World, which was stadium events back in the day. This came out after. Um, Kung Fu, Street Fighter Turbo, Mario Bros. Duck Hunt, Zelda was Zelda 2. Um, and then it had four completing box games. One ball, which goes for about 60 bucks. Uh, Motor City Patrol, maybe goes for about 100 bucks. Go 2, goes for about 80. And then I picked up the pickup of the week. So the pickup of the week was Jackie Chan Action Kung Fu Complete. This game goes for about 280 bucks. I used to have it loose and I sold it, but now I'm very happy to get it back and get it back complete. It came with all the manuals. Um, everything came with manuals. All this stuff is in there. Um, I believe there's some posters in here too. And for 150 bucks, it's an awesome, awesome deal. It's at least, it's gotta be at least $600 worth of stuff into pay 150 these days you just can't complain um awesome awesome week don't forget to like 
and subscribe and hopefully we'll see you all next week later